lightning strikes with extreme electricity and heat. When it hits trees, the heat can vaporize the sap to create steam and blow the bark off. Sometimes it's just a strip or portion of the bark. Other times it includes part of the wood that splinters, and at times it can be all the bark on the tree trunk. Trees are frequent casualties of lightning since they are tall. This tree in a cemetery was struck by lightning. One of the higher limbs showed a thin line where the lightning traveled, removing the bark. A close inspection of the base of the tree showed something odd. A 12-inch deep hole with charred wood from the tree trunk and roots. At first, it looked like somebody had dug the hole. It was about 8 inches across, but a view from the other side showed a much longer hole, actually a trench, deepest at the tree trunk and pointing away from the tree in almost a straight line for about 60 feet. Caused by the heat of lightning, this is known as a lightning trench. As the electricity ran along and just beneath the ground, the heat turned the moisture in the soil to steam, and the steam created pressure, instantly blowing the soil outward to dig a trench. From the opposite angle, you can even spot the same branching in the trench that you see in a lightning path from a cloud to the ground. At different points of the trench, portions of roots showed burn marks. As fascinating as this lightning trench is, it's a reminder that if you are outside near something struck by lightning, the electricity can travel along the ground to reach you. This is also one of the ways electricity from lightning can get into underground plumbing, cable, gas lines, and electric lines to then travel inside of buildings and do damage. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.